You ready to jump in this cold tank? In this video, I wanna walk you through just a little bit of my cold tank setup, how I've been using it and how you can set your own up too. I'm gonna to drop all those resources below. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. So recently I set up my cold tank. This is cold, just so you guys know. This is this is freezing. And it's uh it's been one of the most powerful morning routines that I've done. Doing three minutes in the cold tank, followed by a little bit of breath work, um, also preceded by a bit of breath work. It's something that uh not only challenges you mentally but physically as well. So I want to show you kind of what this setup is, how you could get it. Again, all things are going to be in the description below. I'm gonna drop all those links. Okay, so number one. This is a Frigidaire freezer chest. This could fit probably a whole cow. Honestly, I don't know how much a whole cow is, but this is a uh, six or eight cubic foot freezer chest. This I can lay down almost completely in. Um, it allows me to get the whole body and then of course submerge the head for when I want to do that. Again, you don't wanna always submerge the head. Make sure someone's there. You don't wanna have shallow water black blackout. This is uh, super easy to set up. All you need is a little bit of caulk. Make sure to caulk this. The day you get this, first thing, it's probably coming in a freight train and when you get it, do not touch it. It is hot. I got a bit of a static electricity shock that wasn't fun, so don't do that. But once you have it, you make sure to caulk the insides. There's just little uh, areas, but as soon as you caulk it, it takes about eight hours to dry, sometimes a bit more. And the following days when you're going to get everything else ready. So if this is set up and you have it already good and you've caulked it, it's super simple. All we're gonna do is number one, we wanna add some form of grounding rod. So essentially what this grounding rod is, I'm gonna show you, is this grounding rod literally comes out here and right there we've got it stuck in the ground having it in a bit of uh, a bit of water is going to be one of the most important things if it's in the ground with a bit of water then it is actively grounding the water in here before you jump in this you're always going to want to make sure that you have unplugged it if you don't unplug it there is always a case where you could get a bit electrocuted so make sure to unplug it regardless of the grounding rod the grounding rod is for the water for the benefits of the water not for anything else then you're going to want to get some form of thermostat a laser thermostat so right here this is already showing the wall in there is about 50 but if i come up close we see that the water is actually 43 degrees so we normally keep this between 35 and about 45 degrees um that's cold that's very cold you can also go ahead and get uh, a thermostat that continues to run um you can set the heat and the temp here and then plug it into the outlet oh uh, that's another way to do this that's totally up to if you want to do that this will basically just turn it on and off throughout the day so that's up to you then on top of that you're going to want to make sure that you have some kind of food grade hydrogen peroxide. This has got to keep the water clean so you don't have to basically every week flip through new water. You're going to pour a few cups of that in there. So this is the brand that I like to use. Pretty good, easy. Pour a bit in there as soon as you fill up the cold tank and you'll be all set with that. Then because we're going to be using uh, a hose in order to fill this because we're not going to run into the Berkey filter and back every, uh, every few minutes because that would be horrible. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have some type of filter for the hose. We got basically a garden hose uh, chlorine and water filter. This makes it so it's uh, clean water. As you can see, it's a little bit for kids when they're playing in the uh, the yard during a hot summer day. Also great for filling up your cold tank. So if you have that, then you'll be all set. So a few other things to note, because I think people leave these out a lot. Ours is inside. Yours might be outside, so you might not care about this, but we do care about uh, getting water everywhere i would buy a few mats a few water mats for right here uh right on the ground in front of it you're gonna want to get out as soon as you get out um three minutes at 38 degrees is so cold you honestly can't think when you come out so having a few mats and having a few extra towels is going to be pretty important just so you can make sure that you're dry so again my 
typical uh, routine is having this between 35 and 45 degrees and doing three minutes in the morning. I do not do warm showers after. I do not try to do anything but allow my body to warm up after. That's gonna make sure that you get all the benefits you really could from the cold thermogenesis, activating that brown fat, really diving in deep. It's gonna be something that uh, really will change the way that you see, I guess, cold, but also having those primal uh, subconscious, I'm gonna die thoughts come up and learning how to basically take control of your psyche. It's also great for, of course, immunity, fat burning, skin conditions. And it's something that I think is gonna be one of the most powerful tools that we have available today. So I'm gonna drop everything that I talked about below. This is super simple to set up. Shouldn't take you more than an hour tops. Again, it's gonna be a little bit more than that because you need to caulk it. But as soon as it's caulked and it's dried, the following day, all you really have to do is fill up the hose, make sure that you have the grounding rod in place, make sure that it's plugged in, go buy some bags of ice to cool it down immediately and then flip that sucker on, leave it on for only about two hours a day. You don't want it more than that. It's gonna start to ice up and it could actually freeze the whole thing. I did that, it's not fun. So make sure to do this smart, set your timer, set the wall timer, set the wall thermostat timer, whatever it is to make sure that it's at the condition that you want it to be at and then you're gonna be rocking and rolling. Make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Otherwise, press like if this video helped you set up your cold tank in any way.